court. With the final minutes of the 2015 legislative session ticking away, House Bill 829 was passed. It put a $180 million annual cap on the film tax credits in Louisiana. But even supporters of the cap are unsure about what the bill says. And, and it actually creates a lot of uncertainty. You know, the good news is we finally had a conversation about capping this program, getting the finances of this program uh, under control. I'm afraid this might not have been the best way to do it. The bill doesn't cap the amount of credits the state can issue to film productions. It caps the amount of tax credits that can be claimed in a given year. Some feel that this is just trading one issue for another. While the state may have some cost certainty for the next three years, uh, it's probably going to expose itself to a lot of lawsuits from people who hold these credits and may not be able to cash them in. Film industry supporters feel that this bill could kill off the film industry in Louisiana altogether. This has the potential because of the unpredictability uh, of the tax credit to taxpayers in the state to completely devalue the credits as an incentive tool and stop productions from coming in because there's just not enough incentive. They'll go other places. The Louisiana Film Entertainment Association has created an online petition to try to get Governor Jindal to veto the bill. Some legislators feel that a veto will never happen. I would think probably not based on the fact that he would then have to explain why um, the movie industry deserves that $70 million more than higher ed and health care. Supporters of the film industry agree it won't be an easy decision for the governor, but they feel it deserves more than the last five minutes of the legislative session to decide. This would be too catastrophic. We've invested too much into this program as a state to let this happen. In Baton Rouge, Tim Sproles, NBC 33 News.